Hello everyone and welcome to another, I don't know, video about screen printing or whatever, you know, update. <laughs> all right, so today's just a little bit of an update to let you guys know what's going on. Uh, I don't even have all the lights on and my mic is over here instead of overhead, so I hope this is acceptable enough. In the meantime, I've been very busy doing supply orders. Um, you know, I've been... Basically, all I can do is go from my home to here. The storefront is closed, so nobody's coming into the storefront at all. So I'm alone right now, and I just go from my home to the storefront, and I'm doing supply orders as much as I can online. I'm doing all of them, actually, uh, because the factories are closed in California, and, uh, you know, Ranar in California, and AWT in Chicago, um, you know, Illinois, they're closed for the moment, and I believe... Ranar is closed until May 15th right now. So uh, I can sell equipment. We're selling equipment. We do have certain things I can ship that I have in stock that I'm able to ship. Um, but uh, supplies, I might have certain shortages on. So if you want some supplies, give me a call. Check out the new e-commerce site. I have a brand new e-commerce site that just launched. It's really cool. I think it's working great. I think it's been a lot more... Uh, effective and easier to use and the shipping is much more reasonable so check that out at catsbitscreenprintsupply.com okay and uh, yeah I've been busy really doing the e-commerce site and uh, starting you know since this COVID-19 thing I've been doing a lot of shipping myself from Phoenix so that's why I have not been on YouTube as much in the past few months I haven't been able to make a video I've been really busy that's why I'm doing this really quick and you know Let's see what we can do, you know? All right. So, uh, so yeah, I'm still making YouTube videos. Don't worry about that. But right now, you know, the storefront is closed. Factories are closed. And what I can do is limited. We are taking equipment orders and shipping what we can. What I have in stock, I can ship. And um, also putting people's orders in chronological sequence. So, you know, when the factory does reopen, it'll be first come, first serve. So when you put, the sooner you put your order in, the sooner it can be fulfilled. And anything we can fulfill now, we will fulfill now. Okay, so that's the story. Uh, otherwise, yeah, the shop has been a little bit of a mess. All right, so, yeah, it might have gotten a little worse in here. Been packing up so much stuff. Look what happened to the front. It's like a shipping. This is... <laughs> It's a shipping nuclear holocaust here uh, with shipping stuff out. It's freaking crazy. There's my scale for big stuff. And then I got a scale for little stuff. And, uh, oh, man, what a mess. So uh, working real hard trying to ship out supplies from Phoenix. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's not too bad. <laughs> no, it's back here. These boxes and stuff and bottles. Got to take out the garbage and all this stuff. Uh this is my mess because of the boxes and the packing and the shipping and stuff. And usually these shelves are filled with um, screens and inkjet film and spray tack and stuff. And there's only a little bit left. So I'm trying to get some stuff in and uh, help you guys out. I've got ink to do over here, like over yonder. Look, look, look what's on the back of my belt dryer. Like, what's up with that? I don't know. So it's a mess. I got to get cleaned up and... Uh, you know, hopefully I'll be able to start making some new printing videos soon. We just finished the e-commerce site. There's the chop saw down there because I had to cut, ran out of a size of squeegee. So I had to cut one to fill an order. And uh, yeah, look, ladder is up over here. Why? I don't know. As I have been trying to do a lot of the fulfillment from here, and uh, sometimes, like I said, stocking can be a problem because I was unable to get certain things in right before this happened and then factories closed down. So yeah, it's been a challenge. Okay, so today I actually got some stuff in. Like I said, it's been difficult to get supplies shipped in. So finally, I have a few things, uh, you know, that I can help people out with. And it unfortunately made a little bit bigger of a mess back here that I have to deal with. This is getting crazy. Look at this. It's like the, uh, you know, Mount Everest of boxes. So, yeah, and uh, just, just trying to do the best I can to get through this whole thing like you all. And, 
you know, looking at everything now, I, I made a post on Instagram where I was talking about, uh, I was trying to point out that, that basically the government may not be telling us as much as they should be about this. And it's just really weird. It's, it's an unbelievable thing. And um, hopefully we can reopen businesses and get back to work soon because the bottom line is, is that we need to learn how to live with this. And it's, it's just like any other disease or, or transmittable cold or flu. Uh, it's more contagious and all that jazz, I get that. But um, you know, ultimately we have to learn how to live with it. We can't stay shut down forever. So we have to learn how to be more hygienic. Is that the word? What is it? <laughs> I don't know, sanitize. Yeah, you have to learn how to live with this kind of stuff. And so I'm hoping that we'll be able to get rolling soon so that uh, it's not a problem for more businesses. Basically, right before all this happened, I brought in a bunch of equipment, of course, you know, into the storefront. And uh, here's like the new AWT stuff because I have a lot of people that kind of, you know, prefer an expansion spring and, you know, I'm just trying to offer a little bit more. We're going to offer a uh, AWT side clamp press because it's... Uh, you know, if you're going to want side clamps, then I would say go with the AWT Rototex. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so it's been, again, like I said, it's been pretty challenging. Look, okay, look here. There's my packing mess. Okay, big stain on the floor. That was uh, mesh prep that stained the floor there, actually. So <laughs> it wasn't a dog or something. There's my packing stuff again. It's been crazy. So uh, even the back is like a uh, pff, oh, the back is a mess too. Okay, for instance, um, I actually do not get, I'm not getting any help from the SBA loan or it doesn't appear that I'm going to get any rental uh, help from the housing thing. It's very bogged down. Lots of people are applying and uh, my business, unfortunately, I'm the only one really here. I don't have people on payroll, so they don't really, I'm not accounted for. I don't see a loan for me. Okay, I don't have people to pay payroll, so there's no loan for me to get through this. I have to get through this on my own savings and my own um, whatever. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's been a challenge. And then staying at home, you know, has been, I can't go see my family and stuff, so I've been doing a lot of nonsense at home. Well, at least I have my model building, which, uh, you know, it's funny because that blue Corsair you see there was hung up and finished and then I was vacuuming or I was doing laundry or something and I whacked the thing with my hand and broke the wing off that you can see there and I got to fix it. So once you have so many friggin' airplane models hanging up, it, it, it eventually comes to you're building a new one and then there is always one sitting there to be repaired. <laughs> uh, but it's something to do when you're stuck all alone. You know, so yeah, I enjoy doing the models and stuff like that. And um, of course, uh, I have a little Zen garden in the front of the condo, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I was just working on the uh, Zen garden during the uh, stay at home order on the weekend here. Cleaned it up a little bit and moved some stuff around because it was growing over this and that. You know, look at that thing flowering over there. There's another one up there. But nothing on the shelf because I can't go get anything really. So, yeah. But, yeah, cleaned it up. Looks all right. And then, uh, yeah, the goldfish are over here. And of course I have my project car which is in my townhouse but I don't have a lot of money to spend on it right now and I think I need to replace the carburetor or have it rebuilt I'm not sure it's like I got to go spend some more time with it and um, so yeah it's been it's uh, it's been a weird time uh, I think for all of us yeah so all this uh, stay-at-home orders and stuff I'm gonna start to look at my um, problem here we had a little issue with the project car. Uh, the, it's having carburation issues, I believe. And I changed the plugs. I did a whole bunch of stuff. And I think 
the carburetor either needs to be rebuilt or just replaced. So, but yeah, we'll see if I can uh, maybe spend some time on this. Yeah, so that's the other thing. I finally bought a new car and I went and paid for it and stuff like that. So, and then all this happened like pretty much right afterwards. Oh, yeah, so, man, before all this stuff happened, of course, you know, I finally uh, got a new truck here. Bought one of these things here. You know, it's all good, though. It's all paid for and stuff. It's just like, you know, then the, the S hit the fan, as they say, right? And I was like, oh, man, maybe I should have kept that money. But actually, it's really cool. This thing's a lot of fun to drive, and it makes it uh, nice and comfortable. Like driving, and you know, I don't care about traffic and stuff no more. And so it's pretty cool. It, you know, I guess after so many years, I deserve it. You know, been driving junk. So yeah, time to go home. Uh, so that was like, oh man, <laughs> you know how it is. You, you, you know, but no, I love the truck. It's a lot of fun to drive. It's great. Um, uh, it's been a great pleasure so far. So uh, that's it. I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know that, yeah, we are taking equipment orders. We're fulfilling as much as we can. The supply orders are shipping from Phoenix right now. I'm doing them all myself, basically. So the, the orders that you get from Phoenix right now, um, that's packed by yours truly at the moment, okay? Uh, I'm trying to hustle and keep things rolling until the government uh, lets people come back to work and stuff, which hopefully will be pretty soon. And, you know, on that note, I would think that if restaurants can do takeout and delivery with people working in there with food, um, and they can do it, you know, sanitized in a way that's safe for people to buy the food and consume it, then certainly small factories can get back to work with certain protocol and procedures that would be also uh, fine and completely sanitary and, and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, hopefully we'll get back to that soon. But if you need anything in the meantime, you have any questions, just give me a call or shoot me an email through the contact us form on catsbitscreenprintsupply.com. All right, thanks for watching this really silly nonsense update video, but I just wanted to touch bases with you guys. I appreciate all your support. Thank you everybody for your orders. You're very gracious. We've had a couple people order some stuff and I was out of stock and they said, don't worry about it. Don't even worry any discrepancies. We wanna help. I mean, people have been very supportive, so it's been really cool. I appreciate you guys so very much. So thank you all for your support and we will get back to making some printing videos very soon. Best wishes to you and yours. Stay well, stay safe, and build your empire.